Freddy. Freddy? Freddy is up. Freddy, right. you want to sprint toward uh, Alex? Uh, you can, but that'll be, I believe, next round. Next round. Yeah. So roll a D30 to see how far away you are. Okay. All right. Heroes are first, and something good happens. Logan, remove yeah. the entrance. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? Or crossbows approved. Heroes first. Um, sorry, just to point, just to be fair, the the one that was on me didn't sprint after me that round. It just stood there. Yeah, me neither. Good call. Thank you. Mine neither. Oh, uh, right. Um, <laughs> McKay's, McKay's moved uh, five meters toward uh, <laughs> Freddy's pulls a fumble card because I can't roll for NPCs, apparently. Freddy's fumble card is, let's see, next one down. You see, pointing out that the bad guys didn't roll, I'm not actually doing it. Come. To be fair, I'm doing it because I know Logan will fumble. Right. <laughs> Freddy, your fucking trips and falls over. Oh, the majesty. Oh, the horror. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As it steps on one of its tentacles and goes ass over. Yeah. Ass over tea kettle. Stepping on one's tentacles. Well, tentacles. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Dun, 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 dun. Zapped. Okay. And now we go for uh sprint McKay sprints away. Uh and you had on your D30 your seven meter. Okay. So Kinley, uh, it looks like you may have to go to it because it's having technical difficulties. So if you can make a sprint roll, Kinley, you are over to the next victim, which is currently laying down. So if you had a haste, yeah. then you get a attack while it's laying down. I was down. actually going to just run to cast a spell quickly. Oh, well, that's fine, oh, too. I had a bit of, like, a lull. Cause... Okay, well, if uh, Freddy can give me a sprint roll, you can go hide behind Alex. It's a good time to get that. Um, well, I'm 25 meters away from it. It's on the floor. Yeah, the attack I'm it, gonna... dude. Yeah, I'm going to attack it. Dip it. How uh, far away yeah. are you from it? How far are you? Uh, how are you going to attack at twenty-five meters? I'm not. I'm just. I'm trying to think. What else can I do? There's no time to think in combat. What yeah. Okay. I'm just. Gonna, I'm gonna run towards. That away from it, basically. All right. Uh, away from uh, direction. Well, towards Alex. Towards Alex. Alex. All right. Give me the sprint roll, because you'd figure out you're twenty-five meters from it, but. You're seven meters from Kenley. So oh my goodness! Really? Then you decide to pull a fumble card, which is now a good round to do it. Actually, mm -hmm. yeah. Your fumble card is. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Draw two hundred and fifty more fumble cards. Right. Okay. You go sprinting toward Kinley. He's busy trying to cast a spell. You ram into him. His spell <laughs> fails, and. Uh, anyway. Kinley, give me a uh, dex at half to stay on your feet when he comes plowing into you. He falls down and rolls a bit. <laughs> he sighs at you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Freddy has got uh, some amazing luck in this. Right, Kinley stands there like... <laughs> Da, da, da. <laughs> like, I was just picturing, I was picturing Ken, Alex just standing there and Freddie bouncing off him from Alex's <laughs> strength. Right. Yeah, we now go to the next round. Ran into a brick wall. That was Alex yeah. Kinley. Yeah. Villains are first. Uh, right. McKay, how far away is yours from you? 23. It waddles toward you five meters closer. Oh, look at this combat is way too hard for us. Shut up. And uh, let's see. Yours gets up and simple actions forward. So it uh, is now two meters away from Alex, which unfortunately it hasn't realized. No, no, no. Oh, oh, shit. That's more. right. 20 some. Okay. It, was, uh, it would be, it was 32 yeah. meters away. So five meters makes it 27 meters better. away. Great. It, it slowly begins to ominously creak toward you. So, uh, hero's turn. Uh, Freddy, would you like to stand up? Yes. Kinley, what would you like to do? Uh, one more attempt to cost him, like, so. You might get two more chances the way this is going. And Pete. <laughs> I was worried I'd made these too fast. I see now I did. <laughs> To worry. All right, and now going for next round. It depends Here on which part. What second defending is approved? Right.
Right. Uh, heroes are first. Uh, Freddie, what are you going to do? It's a long way away and it's slowly closing. Uh, pull out my pull out the closing sword. You're doing what? Oh, now what? I pull out the fire sword. Excellent. Uh, give me a luck roll because uh, I don't know if it works. Okay. I got my spell. Yes, I see that. Excellent. Oh. You pull it out and it goes. <laughs> Oh. And we're over to Pete. What do you do? You do some running? No, because I don't want to get too far away from it. I was going to ask, how far are you away? It may just say, fuck it, and turn back. Yeah, that's right. I'm 28 meters away. Mm, it's it's starting to get to the is it worth it thing. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> <laughs> you spend your time doing that? Yep. <laughs> I'm giving you a card for that. That's just great. Uh, I needed, needed a dark one. It doesn't happen <laughs> often. All right, and uh, let's see. The bad guys go. So first, uh, the one that's coming toward uh, uh, Kinley, and God damn it, another fumble. And I just look at my watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It, 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 it waddles forward. Uh, or actually, it just stands there and goes. <laughs> <laughs> and over, over to. Okay, so let's see if I can get there at 95. No, okay, yours moves 15 meters toward you. All right. I think Pete might be better to bring his over. <laughs> <laughs> broken your dog. <laughs> Apparently. And now we go to next round. Heroes are first. Every hero mark off a legitimate piece of gear that has oh. come up in this adventure. Damn it. Goodbye, binoculars. It was nice knowing you. The session. Bye bye, compass. You were useless here anyway, but you were still useful to have for when you are places that are useful. Freddy, do your binoculars go away? Yep. Freddy's binoculars at last are gone. Next session, the quest for new binoculars. Uh, my master. All right. So, here are the first. Uh, starting with Freddy, what are you going to do? There's no way to reactivate the sword. You shake it a bit. Yep. Yeah. I'll follow Alex. Whatever he, he does. Stands there and puts his hands on his hips and maybe pelvic thrusts. I don't know. What do you do? Oh, uh, Kinley. So what's the proof just going again? Uh, wit. At this rate, I might be able to get home for tea. <laughs> <laughs> Take a card. And over to uh, 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 McKay. I sprint away. Because it's only 15 meters away from me now. Oh, okay. oh shit. Got it. And blow some blow some pause now. And now it comes rushing toward you. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fumble. And toward <clears throat> McKay. Five meters and five meters. Uh mm -hmm. you're keeping track of distance, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Great. I. Uh, uh, I'll, uh, sorry, Freddie, you keeping track of distance also? Yeah. Great. Next round. It's meant to way right now. <sighs> it says as it limps toward you. Next round, nothing is approved. Villains are first. It attempts to limp toward you. Five <laughs> more meters closer. <laughs> Over I'm literally, I'm, 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 five meters. I'm literally going to have to cast another regenerate. <laughs> Wow. Uh, hero's turn. Uh, let's see. Uh, Freddy, what do you do? Oh, wow. Uh, stand there, really. Kinley. <laughs> it's stalking you. Nothing is approved this round. Uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, go. I'm going to sprint to it. <coughs> All right. No, I'll, no? I'll just I'll, uh, find me. Find me is. Move up, simple action, and be ready. Oh, three meters, simple action. Three meters, whatever. Right. Uh, yeah, well. Everybody keep track of their dif distance. And yeah. next round. Uh, does a crit on sprint give me extra distance, or? No. Mm -hmm. No. It's kind of a pass. It's like casting a spell. Should do, right. but it doesn't. Oh, good. Just wanted to make sure. Next round. All heroes take minus one real hit point. Oh, I stubbed my toe. Ow. Uh, wit is approved. Villains are first. How far away is uh, uh, the one from uh, Kinley? 17. 
it attempts to sprint up to him. It right, makes can... it. It's, in his, it's within striking range. Yay. Meanwhile, over to uh, McKay. It moves 15 up. Hmm. Hmm, he says, and right, hero's turn. Wit is approved. Uh, starting with Freddy. I'm going to simple action towards it and just want to yell, all right, Grandma, you all right there? Give you the hand. <laughs> Take a card and over to Kinley. Chop, chop. Four. And over to uh, uh, McKay. <clears throat> <laughs> you hear giggling from McKay. <laughs> If yours gets over like 25, 30 meters away, let me know because it may do stuff. You know, I've been keeping a as I, I've been keeping an eye on the distance to make sure I'm just close enough to keep pulling it. And I'm kiting it as I kite it around the field. You are literally kiting it. I Here, am indeed. Or your second wit is approved. We're back to EverQuest days. So uh go chop chop. Uh wit is approved again, Freddie. What do you do? I'm gonna I want to play, um, I have a damage flavor card. Can I reactivate the sword with this, basically? No, but it... Oh, this damage. Only. Mind. damage for the round. Yeah. Uh, I'll sprint towards it. Uh, then I wouldn't play the fire damage for the yeah, round. Yeah, I'm not going to do it now. Yeah. Okay. Sprint towards it. Okay, you, I just... You walk. Three meters toward it, slowly stalking your prey. And I'm running, going on over there. So bad guys go. It attempts to squish Kinley. Aha, it hit for a mere eight points of damage. And I'll, yours is still right super. Next. Yeah. Oh, it's going to try. Uh, it tries to sprint up and catch McKay. And, I haven't actually oh, acted this uh, round, but yes, we'll see uh, what it does. That's all right. I, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, so that's good that it fumbled. It just stands there looking stupid. Everybody's at a plus 30 to hit that one. <laughs> right. And now we go to next round. Yeah, you know, these things were scary at one point. Heroes are first, villains are second. Attack is approved. So, uh, starting with uh, uh, Freddy. Spent. How far are we? Oh, you kept failing sprint. Go ahead. Sprint. Yeah, I thought you were up to it by now, no? Oh, no, he was. No, I'm 14 away from it. Mm. You were right next to me, weren't you? I need simple action forward, so you should be. No, you sprinted forward. I just didn't... Did simple action. It sprinted. How? Right. It was far away. How did you do that? I up th three feet and then it sprinted to me. So you can, you can simple. Oh. And still be okay, there. then I'll simple action to it. Attack okay. approved if you'd like to attack. Yeah. yeah, I'll attack and I'll play my damage flavor. Okay, um, that reactivates flame for this round. And yes, it is susceptible to flame because wood and flame have been allies oh. for centuries. Allies. Uh oh. The fumble card, nice. As Alex spins and decapitates poor Freddy. That would be a fucking fumble. You ready for your fumble card, Kinley? Mm -hmm. Here we go. You fall down. Yay. Excellent. Uh, what's uh -oh. the damage? The D8 normally. D8 normally fire is D10. Uh, D6 yeah. after its armor, and you have no strength bonus, so D6. And you didn't make wow. Any parts. Wow. Okay. All done. D6. One point. <laughs> Apparently, that was enough for it. Villains this round have a flea. Uh, both of them take off away from you guys and run. Wait, 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 wait. Can I play my round of vision? You don't want them to flee? I... No. Well, actually, the problem you've got is normally you have to do it. Oh, I didn't call the flea. So, yes, I'll let you uh, play the round revision, but the heroes have already gone in whatever round you pull. Okay. Yeah, round revision. Well, uh, you guys are winning, so yeah, that may actually be a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's see what you get. Uh, heroes have already gone. Villains turn. Villains get a free reroll. Nothing is approved because you've already gone. So, I'm going to do first the one that's chasing McKay. It takes <laughs> it. 
free reroll. <laughs> it moves up uh, 50 meters. Know. Okay, meanwhile, the one on Kinley hits, damages. It takes its free reroll. Four. Yeah, I'll take it. Hey, it says. And now we go for next round. This is a good round revision, actually, because, yeah, <clears> those are <throat> winning. Heroes are first, wildly gesticulating is approved. Uh, right, Freddy. I just flip it off like, screw you, you stupid trick to die. Close enough. Oh. Thank you. And Kinley. <laughs> I get up. Excellent. And going over to uh, uh, McKay. Oh, oh, slowly away. Away and it's thinking at last this is my chance well oh, i'm it's only 12 meters away from me at the moment uh, that means it's going to try its trample attack at last because you are right there and that's all it's got left so it tries to get its trample thing yeah it stamps it stampedes up to you it is up to you at last but over I'm telling it take you. <laughs> Meanwhile, on uh, uh, Kinley, it hits for a mere eight. Do you want on the pun fails? No, it's all right. I'll, um, huh? I'll Are you oh. sure? Yeah. When it's an opponent fails, are you mad? Mm. I've got really good golf. I, I see. All right, next round. Villains are first and hindered. They're stuck in the forest with the goddamn PCs. Taunting them <laughs> is approved. So first the bad guys go. And on Kinley, it slashes wildly at him doing a mere seven. Yeah, wow, you must have some amazing cards. Meanwhile, on Pete, it's caught up to you at last and mm -hmm. it's to kill you. It's so happy in its tree form, doing four points of damage to you. Ow. And Hero's turn, taunting the foe is approved. Freddy. Uh, where are we? I'm going to try to attack it. All right. Ginley. Beat. I ran away. Wow, Freddy got a crit. Mm -hmm. nice. Currently. Currently. Don't worry. If you fumble with martial arts, it's all still a fumble. Now. All right, so it's a. Uh, 2d4. 2d6. 2d6. You can almost do Alex Kinley damage at this point. Ooh, eight. See? Oh, you beat him. You beat him in damage. 29 at the moment. It looks like it's ready to. Uh, you're no thinking timber. if you attack next round, you should probably yell Timber. <laughs> and we now go to next round. The ones are first. Inflicting damage is approved. It attempts its to strike from its death knell, and it scores a massive critical on Alex Kinley, possibly crushing him into some sort of tasty paste. Ah, well, that gets rid of that. All right, and meanwhile, we go over to McKay. I, you're Ten meters. Ten Shit, meters. Shit, it says. It attempts to, it, it moves It moves in for the kill. Ah. Uh, Wanders in for the kill. It slowly trudges toward you. Can it you guys puts... hurry up? I'm getting bored over here. And <laughs> hero's turn. Inflicting damage is approved. Freddy. Uh, I just hit it. I was probably dead, but yeah. Right. You guys hit it. It dies. I don't need damage. It had one hit point left. And meanwhile, McKay, uh, oh wait, you uh, got next round. McKay's coming in hot. I don't know how far away he is. Villains are first. Fleeing something's approved. Oh, McKay, <laughs> how far away are you from yours? I am currently 15 meters away from it. It attempts to catch up. It moves five meters toward you. Right, McKay, roll the sprint. Uh, I actually, I'm not sure how far away you guys or you are from these guys. Good question. What would you like me to do to determine that? Uh, roll two d twenty. Uh, minimum of ten meters. Bumble card. Bumble card. All right, so sixteen meters. I have a re-roll if you want one. You're fine. 
foes at a bonus to hit you. There's no foe around, so you stand there and go, ha ha. Uh, I sprint towards them. Incoming. He's pulling. So I'm six meters away. It yeah, is 20 meters away. There, uh, for fleeing something. <laughs> okay, uh, next round. Let me know when it gets there, Pete. Oh, who was first? Was was it first or were we first that round? Oh, it was first. It waddled yeah. toward you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I have an insta hero. Did you want that, Matty, or you got really good cards? No, I've got good ones. All right. I play insta hero myself then because I'm down a few. Mm -hmm. Villains are first and get a free reroll. I'll catch that rascally rabbit at things in its wooden brain. Reroll. Aha! 15 meters up. Does that reach you or pass you? No, nope, five meters away. God damn it, it thinks. And wit is approved. Freddy. <clears throat> All right, here we go again. Come on, Grandma. Do you want a picnic? I'll, I'll, I'll just put my backpack down. Like, drop it on the floor. Take just turn. sit down for a bit. <laughs> Matt. Try, 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 try. All right, and you ran Pete. And a simple action this round. Oh dear, it's going to catch you and eat you at last. All of its wooden um, hopes and dreams have come to which pass. Which puts me three meters away from these two and eight hmm. meters away from the creature. Excellent. Yeah, dinner's almost here. <clears throat> oh, wait. Unless you want to, if you want to attack him, you can simple action up and hit McKay. Villains are first. Wit is approved. It attempts to sprint up and kill you. Aha! How far away was it from you? Okay. Eight. It attempts its <laughs> trample attack as it literally is trying to run you down. God damn it. <laughs> you know, these things are normally kind of fierce. Yes. Okay, throw with extra damage. Anybody who can hit it on this round only gets an extra two bumps of damage. I'm like assuming that. next round because we went first. No, you're you're going second this round. Okay, so did it? So it move. It simple action five meters in. Yep. How far is that away? Simple action away for me. How about for them? Uh, for them, six meters. Only you can prevent mm -hmm. forest fires, McKay. Yes. So, right, and what you've done by just keeping Freddy from being able to cook. So, um. Right. Uh, start with McKay, since you're the only one that can actually attack it. I simple action over to it. Okay. It I draw hard. my knife. Slash it. Attempt to martial arts it. All right. So let's see. It's D8, D10, D6, D10. Nine points. Yeah. All right. And that leaves you guys six meters away. What do you two do? You're six away from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll to it definitely yeah. wants to kill the shit out of uh, uh, McKay. So he's, yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. It makes no, you happy. Good, but... No, no, it's good. No, no. I was being purposely taunting it and annoying it. So it will focus on me. So you guys can do. Do you focus on your attack? Mm hmm. Did, did uh, Kinley sprint over? Are you able to make your sprint? Yes, you're nearly dead, but by God, you sprint over next round. Mm -hmm. It appears that you've almost cleaned them up. Villains are first, heroes are second. It wants a piece of McKay in the worst sort of way. I think. God damn, hit. <laughs> McKay squishes for seven points of damage. Everybody else is in the sure. fails. What? Fun of fails? Yep. Damn. Right. Hero's turn. Oh, wait. Yeah. If you had an opponent fails, you may have been knocked down. So, Hero's turn. Freddy. I want to. Because I gave Joshua the other flaming sword. I want to take it from him. No, I never took it. Oh, you didn't take oh, why did you take it? All right. Because yeah, I wasn't going to use it. Why would I carry something I wasn't going to use? Oh, that's fine. I'll attack the 
זה דבר אחר. כן, מאי. מקיי. היי, סניקי סנק. Alright, Villains are first taking damage from a foe's approved, so McKay might get a card, the lucky boy. <coughs> it attempts to squish the... Approved the... last round, wasn't it? Skiing. Skiing oh. was approved last round. It squishes the crap out of McKay for six points of damage, and if he takes it, he gets a card. My opponent fouls it. Damn. Right, no card for you. And, right, hero's turn. Chop, 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 chop. She has wood chips flying off. And the fleas, no. <laughs> no, damn it. Oops, wrong one. Ooh. Wow. I missed it then. Freddy's fumble time? Yeah. Looks like it. Freddy's fumble time shows broken. You managed to break the fucking sword that you were using. Just. Well, they're not going to have that. <laughs> well, they can still. It's, it's so up to 26. It looks like it's mortally wounded. Next round in Mortal Kombat. Heroes are first, villains are second, and hasted. If you don't put it down quick, it's going to definitely squish the shit out of him. Everybody roll chippity choppity, except uh, the guy with no sword. Oh, right. my bad. Yeah. You, you, you can try doing D4 to it with what's left. Yeah, yeah it's I'll, I'll just do one damage. How about that? Great. Oh, you crit it. <laughs> uh, 17 damage. <laughs> right. He slices through it like 20, a samurai slice. 20 and whatever Freddy does. I did one. But, uh... No, you crit it on it. <laughs> that was it. So it's up to about 50 points of damage oh, yeah. after that round. If it ain't dead, it ain't happy. <sighs> See? I well, that was easy. You can do it. Could have gone either way, though. Could have. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fumbles on your side. If you want to oh, Christ. Come on. When is there not a lot of fumbles from Logan's side? That is one of the things that uh, I think is one of my best traits as a GM is how many fucking fumbles I get. See? That tells me that Alex, the player, has a great potential for being a GM is the amount of fumbles. <laughs> so... You've defeated all of the evil uh, dark young. I am going to go AFK a moment. He goes into the woods and has a little cry. You guys nod. And pee on the tree. Well, <laughs> uh, I believe you have some holy business to do. Yeah. On them bones over there. We should go and make sure we sanctify this area of evil. <laughs> you go over to the altar, have a closer look. No problem, it appears much as it did through the binoculars. So what was the, well, why are the, is the bones glittering because they're magical? Yeah, a right. little bit. Okay. It looks like uh, they've been picked through with, uh, um, by birds and shit like that long and long ago. <clears throat> this is nothing on closer inspection that's any renovation. And, uh, uh, yeah, not it, it all comes down to PC cleverness at this point. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. This is make or break time because apparently that was just the warm up there. How many hero points is Kinley down to? Oh, I still got uh, 13. Oh, okay. Too bad. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Yes. 
Yes, 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 yes. Uh, just as I predicted. Evil, nasty, cursed altar with magical bones on them. Just as I was expecting. In the name of me, St. Patrick, I cleanse this altar. Hmm. That's all done. Let's go. Wait, what? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, Matt, could you take a card for me? Best response ever. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Freddie, take a card. Uh, right. uh, McKay, you, you've just shaken the dew off of the low and are coming out from behind one of the dark young that you were relieving yourself on. And <coughs> you were, thought you heard uh, Freddie go, what? That's it? Okay, I walk over to the altar. They're standing there. The altar has been sanctified. What'd you do? Pour some alcohol on it? Pee on it? Pee on it? Just, it didn't do anything. <laughs> I proclaimed it cleansed by the name of St. Patrick. And are the bones in it still radiating evil or are they at peace? Oh, they're absolutely fine. At peace. Are they still sparkly? A little bit. Peaceful sparkly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. The look on fucking Freddy's face. <laughs> <laughs> this is what right. when you deal with insane people, Freddy. The the water, the cracked lever thingy. Oh yes. I will check it on the off chance it's actually got a scroll or something inside it, as opposed to being a water skin. It looks like a long destroyed uh, water skin. There's there's uh, some sort of traces of something Holy in there, water. but there's no. It's like a little bit of crystal stuff. You're not sure what it is. Salt? No. Crystal salt. <laughs> I do a taste test. Right. Con like kind of endurance roll versus the poison that you've just licked. Yeah, <laughs> poison. <laughs> 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 if he gets a fumble, that's what happens, and he's dead. He just fucking goes, poison dies. And you guys go, This is why police officers do not fucking test the cocaine. He spits it out quickly. It's a strong acidic taste. No, I suspect it's poisonous. You lick the dagger while you're at it. <laughs> no. What about the bones, maybe? Uh, but I, I will. Hmm. Where the hell is that spell? Oh, that's right. I moved it to its own section. Like a bone suit. I will do this on myself. One. Two. Be sure. Go. Nobody's killing me today. You go. Hmm. <laughs> Exactly. Actually, not me. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Alright. So hmm. somebody's come so somebody came here, drank some poison. I don't know whether or not he sacrificed himself because he was pissed off with people. But why would you drink the poison? So maybe right, well, someone else. Check Sacrifice. Check around now that we're actually here at the altar, etc. Check around the altar. Nothing. Is anything... Trust or value around the altar. And on the altar. Correct. Now that we're close to see. Oh, the there's no, nothing on top, no engravings or anything. No. Just some angry bones. Yeah. So angry. Uh, so, I mean, obviously the easiest thing to do would be to take them back, put them in the box, but I'm worried what happens if we take them to town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. An excellent point from Freddy. You got a card. What's that for? Um he, he was saying he was concerned about taking them to town. 
and putting them in the box because of the the Edgar effect. I still think I like my idea of making a bone suit from them. A bone was that soup or suit? Bone suit. Right, so it wasn't bone soup. That cloth, pull the bones on for like Halloween, so it looks like a the constant the black fabric, obviously you just see the actual skeleton, and then you go around Halloween and they're magically cursed so everyone gets even more frightened from them. It's brilliant idea. I shall examine the bones to see if it looks like make out anything of interest on them about them. Uh, you're guessing from the pelvis, male. Mm -hmm. Any nicks on any of the bones? Oh, yeah. It, it looks like whoever had these bones at one time lived a hard knock life. Are they, are they completely human? Yes. There are scraps of cloth in with the bones sh showing that whoever's bones they were were wearing a simple cloth tunic at one point. You're guessing. Hmm. It was a hard. Might be those. Might be those tribe people or something. Mm. Uh, uh, we could do what what we do with everything we don't want around anymore. Just take them to Burlington and whoop, through the hole. Well, apparently the black box has been removed from Burlington. Is now in Kinleyville. God damn it! Oh, really? Oh, it's even better. <laughs> Um, you obviously weren't paying attention to the conversation we had about a minute ago. No. Where Freddie said we could take the bones and put them in the black box in Kinleyville. Ah. However, I'm not sure what effect having the bone, angry, angry bones would have with us would have on us traveling with us and our group and on Kinleyville itself. A cold breeze blows through the trees. Should we um, hmm. burn them? Yes, <laughs> about burning them, salting them, but I don't think we've got any salt. Hmm. I mean, we could give them a burial or something, but I don't know as to... To rest in peace? Yeah. Since there's not not really a god thing in this place, it's not like we can. It's not like burying them will allow them to travel on to their god. I mean, what do they do with bodies here anyway in Kaliville? What is the standard of the bodies? You know, do they yeah, cremate them? Actually, I like a pile of more. I like a big fiery pile. That would be cool. We could build All right, so well, we could build a pile. We works around. You guys look around. We could build a small pyre out of Dark Young. Mm. <laughs> that would add some kick to it. <laughs> and we can, and I suppose before we do that, we can cut open the deep dark one to make sure they haven't swallowed anything of interest. Hmm. I was thinking about that actually. Doing a big little autopsy on the Dark Young. Mm -hmm. Let's do that first. And then we can do a small pyre of um, Dark Young and Bones. So after finding nothing in the dark young, you guys uh, go about constructing a pyre. You've got magic, super sharp swords and a freakishly strong dude. So I figure it's only a matter of time and whatnot. Uh, who has four survival that isn't Alex Kinley? He's busy uh, going chop, chop, chop. Fuck you, dark young. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. I've got survival woods. Yes, that'd be perfect. Give me that to make uh, life a little bit more comfortable while you're uh, doing stuff here. Yeah. No comfort for you. <laughs> you eat your fucking cold rations and like it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I shall light my pipe and I shall light my pipe Thanks. and puff on it. No problem. You've got a pyre prepared. The bones are placed upon it. Whoever, whoever you are, may you journey on to wherever it is you should journey on and rest in peace. Saint yeah, it's not being evil. St. Patrick bless you. If if you could, if there is somebody you wish you have anger against, tell us who it is so that we may avenge whoever did this dastardly deed to you. And, and then, uh, and then we burn. burn, baby, burn. Excellent. I'm giving people bad dreams. Thank you. No problem. You, uh, uh, after saying some actually very nice words over it uh, and lighting it on fire. Then a spirit begins to form in the air. 
It looked... Why are you burning me, you bastard? Stop it! Ah! <laughs> it's so bloody much. It, it looked suspiciously like Corey Nichols. Really? Yes. Suspiciously like it. And, uh, right, he appears and then gestures like this toward you, like, follow me. All right, we follow him. Okay. It, uh, slowly takes you outside of the grove, and then it points to an ordinary piece of ground. It points at the pyre, gives you a double thumbs up, and fades away. We dig. Mm. Digging into the ground where the spirit had led you, uh, you discover an ancient chest. Uh, it appears to be locked, although the lock uh, it looks like it's rusted and jammed with dirt and all kinds of other bullshit. Damn it, we're just going to have to leave this here. We're never going to get it open. Give me a simple strength roll there, Kinley, as you... <laughs> Kinley, bash. <coughs> yeah, all right. He eventually bashes it open, takes a couple of good hits. Inside, you find several things. Yes. Oh, and everybody take a card for giving the spirit a nice send off. Because if you'd done a bad send off, like just burn and burn and salt the bones, you'd heard, you fuckers, and then fade away. Mm -hmm. This was Corey's old character from the Druid Grove story. So be sure to ask him about that. He'll piss him off, and it's hilarious. So inside of the chest, you find the following. 100 one ounce pieces of gold. I'm guessing uh, McKay's keeping track of all this. Well, Alex certainly won't. Great. Uh -oh. um, and uh -oh. 200 one ounce pieces of silver. And now the interesting shit. See, I remembered money. Mm -hmm. See? See? Talking to you, Pete. Remembered money. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, uh, yes. First, you can mention tosses out. There are. Ah, okay. Uh, would you like to burn a charge so I just tell you more shit? Yes. Give me a simple analyze magic. Uh, uh, can I have a look, please? Uh, yes, of course. Oh, thank you. Gotta check in now, why don't you? Take another charge for him, and oh, uh, well, I, was, I was thinking of I could do it. Oh, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I'll yeah, pass him to him before he'll doing burn it. more charges anyway. Yeah, he likes it's, it. um, yeah, and Chris, God damn, there are one. All right. <laughs> All right. I, you don't need to make additional rolls. I was going to have you make three rolls, but fuck it. Okay, so here we go. Hang First on. is... Wait, sorry, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just adjusting the charges on the glasses first. Go for it. Good man. <clears throat> go. First Take is it away. sort of metal armor, which uh, needs all the leather and padding pieces uh, to be repaired. For this, you will need to use a craft leather and a craft cloth to repair it. You can attempt to have one of my wildly incompetent NPCs do it. However, failing in either will cause this armor to stop working forever. What the armor does is uh, it, the armor will count as a grand total of two bumps, not combinable with other magic armor per normal. But the interesting thing is, once per day, it does a shield magic per Nero spell and a magic armor per Nero spell. What that is, for those who haven't played that LARP, the uh, shield magic, if somebody throws a spell at you and you don't like it, you can hear the full effect and stuff, and then you go, shield magic, and the spell did not affect you. Magic armor uh, works the same way, but is against direct damage uh, from melee weapons or missile weapons. Is the first, yeah, but it's the oh, it's first. the first. I'm oh, sorry, both of them are the first in the day. So, sorry, dumb defenses. Yeah. God damn, it's been too long since I played Nero. All right, dumb defenses. That's the first thing. The second thing is a helmet of headbutting. <laughs> During, uh, I'll, this ha the helmet, um, it looks like it has a large face paint uh, plate on it which is squeaky to open. It's Sir Benavir's from Monty Python, the Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, nobody can hear you speak unless you open up the face plate, and it always squeaks. Um, any, All you do to use this is, and I don't believe it needs any, no, it doesn't need any repair work. Um, if you make an unarmed roll, you call a headbutt, make an arm, unarmed roll against a medium size or smaller creature, Unless they can make a dex at minus 30. Oh, and this only works on mooks. Doesn't work on named guys. Doesn't work on important guys. Just mooks. Okay? 
Uh, unless they can make a dex of minus 30, they get knocked down. Okay. The last piece it would need a... Does it still do damage as well? Uh, yeah, normal normal D3. I mean, there's no martial arts for headbutting. <laughs> you stand there, keep going. <laughs> yes, every round you can literally <laughs> knock the guy over. Up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At will. It's, it's at will. Um, so, yeah, if, if one guy was wearing it and hit a mook, knocked him down, then the R2 could stab him at a bonus every fucking round. Um, but it is annoying to wear because you always have to go, mm -hmm. I think we should go over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the last item would need a craft wood to fix. It is a spearhead. The craft wood or a woodcraft? Either. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, uh, but you have to make it uh, successfully or the spear stops working forever for some reason. Uh, what it is is it's a spear of wounded wounding. It prevents regeneration of any creature hit with it uh, for, the, for the combat, not forever or whatever. It can be thrown with a separate skill. Maximum range is 100 meters without penalties. Wow. Yeah. Oh, throwing? Yeah. Holy shit. That's a, yeah. But then it goes, so you may not get it back if you throw it at something. It may go, ah, ow, run off with it. So those are the items you found here. Obviously, these are all magic items. They won't work in non-magic zones and shit, or they may intermittently work in non-magic zones. Got all that, Pete? Yeah, my suit. Uh, I can. Uh, do we need tool, tools for these rolls, or is it just? Yeah, you're gonna want some uh, woodworking tools and shit. Plus, in order to put on a spearhead, you actually heat up the spearhead and stuff like that. Yeah. There's, there's stuff that goes into it. But, yeah. Mm. So you found some decent money de and very nice, <coughs> very nice magic items. And you freed the spirit of Corey. Yay. Ooh, Corey, if you ever hear this, you'll be grinding your teeth. <laughs> recognize it. All <laughs> set up. That's called that's called fucking with somebody after twenty years. There is what that's called, Freddie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, same fucking with Just think, twenty years. Twenty from. years from now, Freddie, you'll be sitting there thinking, "I bet Logan's fucking about fucking me." <laughs> new random load of PCs. Mm -mm. I'm still alive in that long. Jesus, that's a long time. Seventy something years old. I'll just ramble. <laughs> Right. This is all done. It's all cleaned and cleansed. The villagers will be happy. Yeah. Uh, what are we doing with the gold and silver? Um, I think well, let Tindy build it, or, or or even the outposts, so they can build that more up. I don't know what's more important. Uh, the probably. Uh, white duck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how Unless long, we just how to make... be in the white dove uh, for operational costs? Um, let me check. Sorry, you have to go through conversion rates and shit. Uh, so we just convert the gold straight across. So it's just seven hundred silver. So that'll be two and a half weeks. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, white dove's expensive, but somebody yeah, wanted to with, with the theater. silver, that'll be about three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Somebody wanted a theater, so they were investing all this money into it. We didn't have to do that. Anymore. <laughs> 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 more functional. Okay, let's turn it into a brothel. That'll pay for itself. Wow. There's a lot of brothels in the town already. You'd have to really do something. Yes, but but this brothel has got Alex Kinley working there. And He's not going to be there for more than an hour once ever. Yeah. We all know that he'll get bored. Yeah, but it's a special. Hour. It's but it's a special. It's a special surprise booking arrangement that you have to make if you wish to be with Alex Kinley. Come to our brothel. It also has a magical painting where you can go into a magical library with people in there that will tell you about anything you want to know. I don't yeah, know no, we're not going to advertise that. <laughs> I suspect the I suspect the shadow cancel will find some excuse to seize the painting. 
Yes, of course. Now, an interesting thing here is that I just want to point out, because everybody seems to be good with uh, continuing on a little bit, but uh, from this area, uh, it's possible to go back to the back to the Bleak River where you're at, unnamed foothills, back to the uh, different Bleak River you haven't been to, or Vip Forest South. Hmm. Okay, there's a Vip Forest South, is there? Yes, you're. This actually is Vip Forest North. I don't know. I personally wouldn't mind wrapping things up purely because mm -hmm. I need. Hit points and post back. Yeah. Um, I think we just need yeah. I don't know. I suppose the question is, is would this if we decided to keep going, would we have an end of mission because of what we've just accomplished? Eventually. Well, like as uh, well, essentially it's like, do you want to do a sneak and peek into uh Sure, sneak and peek, but not a whole another thing. It's, it's yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We make it easy. Everybody, give me a stealth roll, and then you can do a stealthy sneak and peek. Then, from one person who you guys you know, can designate. Can yeah, if he fails it, then you know you're gonna get attacked by fucking trolls because they're all over this bitch. Oh my god! Did Freddy make his fucking stealth well? I know. I the world is ending. I think actually Pete, though, unfortunately, is the one that normally fails still. That's right. Oh, hates Pete. I don't know why. It does, and it's confusing. It does hate me, indeed. And you have a really good stealth, too, is the fun. Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, but before before rolling, oh, I no. am spending my outdoors person card Go on. on increasing my skiing. <laughs> nice. Or I could do no, wood. Or... I could do survival wood since that's what I've been doing now. Mm -hmm. That that's not a bad one. Yeah, I might that's do outdoor. Fun. I might do the woods actually because there's another card that I can use to increase my skiing. All right. So let's see that stealth roll fly. Does anybody have any skill bonuses for poor Pete? Yeah, I'm gonna spend a oh, skill. Oh, I five. do. Yeah. No, no that's all uh, right. I'll just spend a skill five. Oh, oh it's just in Yes, he plays assistant ten on you. Don't fuck I it did. up, Pete. He says, "Don't fuck it up." In a second, let me just increase my survival woods. <laughs> uh, stealth, stealth, stealth. Now, stealth. also, give me a woodcrafting roll to know things, Alex. 74, 84, 89. Yeah, you know about wood and shit. Yeah. Anybody else who wants to try woodcrafting, of course, you are uh, free to do so. Oh, my gosh, you made it a half. Yay. According to Joshua McKay, this wood we need to burn this forest. It's riddled with wood rot. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> now, anyway, <laughs> uh, Kinley, Vip Forest North, not the right kind of wood for ships. Vip Forest South, right kind of wood for ships. But uh -huh. if you're doing the sneak and peek, please elect one person who will be doing the all important, super cool luck roll for happy fun time. The others may support that person. Alex. Or if they're Freddy, what? I support him. No, Alex Kinley. Oh, Alex. Okay. I was like, what? Really? I believe Alex Kinley has the highest, he's the luckiest person of us all because he's St. Patrick yeah. and he he's a leprechaun Patrick. when he's bored. Yeah. Okay. Would you like his support? Yes. Yes. Go for your supportings. Woo. There you go. All right. That's life. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> They have confidence in you, Freddy. Confidence. Yes, well done, Freddy. Plus ten. And it is a negative sixty by half. Oh, righty then. One of the knights on on guard duty and stuff. There's a faint glowing off in the woods, and you're like, oh, because it's a different color glowing. Oh, different color. Different color glowing. Oh. Yes, more cars for you. You can't use them here, so you have more cars. You guys go and approach. You find berry bushes. These are blue with red spots that glow. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you go, no, 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 no. And immediately <laughs> eat some. Make everybody. a constitution roll or die. Yes, everybody, give me the endurance roll of death. 
Yeah, if you get a fumble on this, it is fantastic. Hmm. I have a little. You I will not. He uh, said he has a reroll. I do. I don't agree. What's he mumbling about? Nobody knows. No, clogging read. Oh, clogging read. I spent my fumble. I spend, sorry, my reroll. Uh, there we go. Uh, by the way, uh, crit is better than a success again. Up to yes. you. Right. I am going to. Uh, Success works, but a is there any difference between success and lower? No, just no, zero success. Okay, so did everybody succeed? Yes. Every uh, let's see, uh, we'll just go down the line. Freddie, what's your uh, Dex? Seventy-one. 71, so it is less than 80. Roll D6, add it to it. What's uh, Kinley's? 94. 94. Oh, wow. Roll a D3 and add it to it. Yeah. And McKay? 90. Same, D3, add it to it. Nice. Hmm. Again, this is a one and done, and this is in Vip Forest South. Other things in Vip Forest South, here's a different river called the Mar River, which also goes right near Kinley Bill, so it's a different way to go home if you want. You also find a fortress in the woods that you did not check out because you said you don't want to get in anything that's potential problems. Um, can I give you any more uh, information on the forest? Uh, it seems to be troll smoke. Uh, it seems to be troll infested, so they're not really into fires. Everybody give me a geology roll. And geology. Oh, sorry, it's not troll infested. And everybody can give me a listen roll at uh half for other things. Hang on a second. Geology. Geology. Geology is a or success. Lore or something like that. Geology is a success. It it it's it's a it's a pretty small fortress. I mean it'd be a comfortable PC hideout. Oh my geology. Uh, they uh, all of the the bricks are made from diamond ore. Ooh. There you go. Uh, let's see. McKay got. Uh, they by good geology. Uh, Freddie did. Freddie, the stone's unremarkable, but it's definitely not from around here. I don't know where it's from either. So, who made their listen at half? Ah, I see yep. at least one. You hear something big breathing in there. There's something big breathing in there. <laughs> no, no, I'm out here. They can't be me. Yeah. You're not sure what it is, but it sounds big and it makes your testicles shrink. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if you're wanting to go mess with that now, but you nope. find it's there. Um, actually, uh, you guys might have heard about that. Everybody give me, does it, anybody have a. Uh, um, Memory at half. Somebody may have mentioned it in the numerous times you were here. Is it the dragon? I thought it was dragon. Uh, could yeah, be. I'm like the memory. You know that if you were to leave Vip Forest and head for about 10 to 15 days south, I mean, yeah, you'd leave your entourage and stuff, but you wouldn't have to make any more stealthy, stealthy rolls to get back to your entourage, which you'd have to otherwise do. Then you'd get to Alexville, which is a human settlement. <clears throat> they were came from. Uh, no, you 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 came from uh, Alexburg. Wow. I thought we came from Alexopolis. Uh, oh, Alexopolis is a totally different town. That's the small town that guards the gate. <clears throat> of course. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They're low on creativity, high on praise. So, um, so if we leave Vip, Vip Forest South and yeah. travel, but then nobody would know that you've yeah. gone. So they would just. No, I'm just making that if you leave Vip yeah. Forest and, and travel, how many days? Ten or fifteen. You're not really sure. 
Uh, but uh, connections for here is either uh, going to uh, uh, Alexville or lots of planes or back to the forest north or the Mar River. So yeah, assuming you'd like to go pick up your entourage, I will simply need yeah. a, another stealth roll. Yeah. If, from, if yeah. not just that, I also want to make sure we get back so we let them know that A, yeah. um, to go to the south because that's where the best wood is and B, that the menacing problem is now gone. Yeah, everybody give me a stealth roll. If one person fails it, then you get into a fight with about six trolls. Maybe more. Good. Oh, hey! Shit. Wow, apparently you guys are fated to get out. It shows you guys sneaking <laughs> by a bunch of trolls. They're like... Hi, 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 hi. You guys like no problem. Uh, you guys get back. Everybody's super surprised. Well... They're not really surprised, but they're like, yay, they're back, because they notice the forest seems to have lightened up a bit and stuff. And then they take you back, and they feed you and all that, and you guys are glad because you've been eating up your own rations, and you're about out of shit. And they take you back, and you then eventually uh, uh, let everybody know what's up. Everybody is super happy. They tell you that they will send uh, people there. The only problem they've got is the trolls and whatever's in the fortress thing, but they they they'll try to sucker somebody into the fortress thing. Uh, yeah. Fire, fire swords, fire arrows, whatever. Good against trolls. They don't get back up. They like it. No problem. Well, like we heard we we you know. Of course, you can keep your fire sword. You still got your fire sword, right, Mister Fire? Uh, I kind of broke my one. Oh, well, heroically against the troll. Oh, wow. Uh, no, no, against the dark one, it was. Ah, right. From Alexburg, you guys go back to Kinleyville, and uh, there uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, party, party. Oh, yeah. Well, we still have one sword left. So if <clears throat> that one doesn't want it. That one, is dead. you don't know if it'll work, but you don't uh, try until next time when you pull it out and go, well, fuck. <laughs> All right, so uh, everybody discard all. Uh, nobody has any cycling cards, I'm guessing. No. Discard uh, I have a full retreat, but that's it. What? I have a full retreat, but that's it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Everybody's including greed, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless we get a. Yeah, everybody discard all the cards you don't want. Refill your hands for end of mission refill. Congratulations, you have girded your loins and taken on the dark young, which. Honestly, I was kind of thinking at least one of you fuckers would die. 